Hey folks, welcome back. Again, Tim here, Gamma Viti. Just installed a couple drawers, cargo drawers from Overland Vehicle Systems. I wanna show you how they work, how they bolt in, talk about some of the features, what makes them kinda of cool, what makes them kinda of not so cool. Let's dive into it. So first thing I'll say about Overland Vehicle Systems is a lot of their products tend to chase after what ARB's already done in the market and, and big props to ARB for developing a lot of these unique systems the first time. I've had ARB drawers, I love them, so I apologize in advance if five times during this video I say, well, ARB does it this way and these guys did it this way, because that's kind of where I'm coming from, but I think it's going to give you a, uh, a pretty good perspective here. So first and foremost, let's just talk cost. This is their slide out system. So you can do a little fridge on top, uh, it's 500 bucks retail. This is the non slide out version. So rigid top 450 retail. So we're talking less than half price compared to ARB. Now, no trim kit, we'll get into that. Uh, a little bit limited on space, we'll get into that. But $2,200, $2,300 out the door for an ARB system or thousand bucks for the OVS system. You know, that's kind of what you're getting here. So that said, I still think that these are kind of cool. Um, let's dive in a little bit closer. Size wise, they're small. So measure the whole thing, 25 inches total length and uh, about 16 and a half wide. So both drawers together. Okay, 33 and a quarter with a little bit of a gap in the middle. Uh, I almost think you could put three of these side by side in the back of say a 200 series. Anyway, so not the biggest drawer in the world, but it kind of solves a problem that I've had with the other drawers. And classic sales guy turning a, uh, you know, something into a benefit, but I don't have the problem of not being able to find something in a drawer. You know, got room for my outer limit supply kit here. This is my air up and down bag on this side, some straps, recovery kit, and that's pretty much it. So I know where everything is in the drawers, nice and clean and organized, but I've had, you know, five propane tanks in one and I'm never too sure where my headlamp is, et cetera, et cetera. So the smaller space is kind of nice for things to be sort of, uh, you know, contained. And then bunch of space on the side. So plenty of access to get to my jack. I could easily put a couple chairs here. Of course, on a real Land Cruiser, 100, 200, it's only gonna get bigger. On this side, I've got my inverter mounted, still plenty of space for access, ventilation, and so forth. And what's kind of cool in back is just all the space behind the seat. So I haven't quite hooked up all the power yet, so don't worry about that too much, but we have full recline of the back seats. You had to give that up on the ARBs. You only get like one, maybe two clicks, but Certainly we could take these all the way back. If that's what you wanna go for. Or uh, even store some other gear. You know, I've had good success putting things like high lift jacks, shovels, kind of right behind the back seat where it's nice and low and centered in the vehicle. Um, so gives you a lot of room here, both on the sides and in front of the drawers between that and the back seats. One kind of clever feature on the slide out is, you know, this slides out and it will slide out exactly 15 inches. So not a ton, but I think that's enough, especially in a vehicle with no tailgate, which seems to be what's coming down the road here from Toyota anyway. Um, plenty of access to a fridge if we choose to install one. What they also did was they added a little uh, kind of a prep tray. So separate deal. And this little thin white plastic guy extends. 19 inches. Plenty of room to put together a sandwich or uh, assemble some kind of a food thing. Um, you could eat off of here, but um, you're not gonna cut up a watermelon on this thing. So it's not strong. I don't, 
I don't know if you'd even call this a cutting board, but we'll say prep table. Um, kind of handy and it stays out of the way and nice and clean and tucked under that other slide. So I could see that being useful and that's something that I didn't get with the ARB. So I, I kind of like that. Another thing they give you is they give you four of these little eyelets per drawer. So you can see all the slots up here and yeah, that just slides in. You twist it, crank it down and now you have a little attachment point. I presume you could mount a fridge that way with, you know, some turnbuckles going up to the handles, uh, but certainly for strapping down something, you know, camping stove, grill, that sort of thing. I believe that was what the intention was there. And, you know, they twist and they slide out so this can stay flat again. So again, kind of a nice to have feature. I don't know if it's essential, but kind of cool. There it is. And the other unique feature that I like on this compared to some of the others is how you can take these drawers out. You see these have these little brass kind of pull rings back there. And you literally pull one, I don't know if I can do this on camera, pull them both out and there it slides out. So really easy to take these drawers out and set them aside. Uh, again, with the ARB, we're finding a 10 millimeter. We're having to go in, remove the tops and then kind of lining them up to get them back in those little stops. That can be a challenge. So really quick and easy here. Installation about the same as all the other ones. There is kind of this slotted channel that you're supposed to line up with your third row hooks. Unfortunately, they're too narrow. I would have loved to hook it up there where that back uh, hook went and back hook went. I still am considering of putting like an L bracket on the outsides here, um, but I couldn't. And then in the back, that one doesn't move. So it's part of that back row. So if that doesn't land over your third row bracket, and you can see mine does not, um, I had to come up with something else. So this cross member is something that I built and I've got it bolted to the seat brackets. And then of course bolted to the drawers here themselves. So had to get a little bit creative on how to mount this, but the idea is you bolt the drawers to themselves. You bolt it down to the vehicle. Um, really, you know, a couple good bolts is what it takes. You, you just want to prevent this thing from tipping over if you were to ever tip the vehicle over or coming free if you ever had to stop really, really suddenly. Another limitation I ran into is just how thin this stuff is and how little clearance we have. So you can see I added this bolt here to hold the two drawers together. I had another bolt on this hole, but the drawer interfered with it. It kept slamming in, it wouldn't close completely. So I had to kind of struggle with how thin this was. Same with putting my inverter on. I had to make sure that my sheet metal screws were kind of outside where the track goes for the drawer. Um, in back, I was able to add a couple relays because I have some lighting back here. But you can't just drill and add holes like you can with the ARB. It's just not as thick. So you have to really watch if you screw something through here, is it going to interfere with the actual drawer? So something to note that's a little bit different that I was kind of surprised on it a couple of times. But these bearings all seem super decent. I can't tell a difference between them, some of the other drawers. Everything else is put together really well. I like how this thing goes together. Now I haven't installed a fridge yet. I just set this one in there. This is the medium sized, kind of an older Dometic. I want to say it's a 50 CFX 50, um, you know, 50, 55 core, about that size. But a lot of times you're going to run into this issue with the drawer system. It's just something to be aware of. Um, you know, access inside the vehicle. You know, you can sneak something in there, but you're never gonna pull the basket out. And then if I slide this out, it doesn't go far enough to really solve that problem. So once this is installed, if this fridge were installed, I'll never be able to open that lid more than a halfway unless I just take the lid off. I'll never be able to get that basket out of there. So really hard to clean it, uh, hard to get to big stuff. Hard to even put something big in there. So still not sure I want to do a fridge on top of these drawers. If I do, I'm going to have to find a lower fridge. Um, yeah, we can do that, but just something to keep in mind. This setup would actually work better with a uh, kind of a, a rear opening door like the older uh, angles or, you know, in the standard ARB uh, where it's going to open this way. And I think in that case, being able to slide it out and then open the lid, you know, this way actually would have its advantage. So 
Um, that'd be something I can consider. Definitely not the side opening fridge though. It's just, you're just not gonna have that much access. So bottom line, solid choice. Again, cheaper alternative to pretty much all the other drawer systems out there. You don't get quite as much stuff. You don't get a trim kit on the sides, but you do get a couple decently built drawers. They lock, they seem to function. Um, I really give them credit on how easy it is to remove and then add the drawers again. I mean, it's just a simple line it up. Push it in and you're done. So that alone is a huge upgrade. Um, this little prep tray, kind of cute. We'll see if we use it. A little limited on how much it slides. Maybe I'll build my own trim kit. Maybe I won't, but that's pretty much the rundown. And with that, we will wrap it up. So again, these are the cargo drawers from Overland Vehicle Systems. Hope this was helpful to you. And uh, let me know your questions. Tell me what else you want to see in products and on these videos. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.